Hey, me again. Well, I got that situation solved. Everything's sitting on there right. And I thought I had a problem with that hole right there, right down there. Well, I don't. I didn't see that. I had to go back on my videos. I'm glad I'm doing the videos. But uh, here's an easy way to get stuff down in the deep holes where you can't get your fingers down that hole. Well, here's what I do. I put it on a magnet where you screw it in and find your hole, go down in there and take it and screw it until it's tight enough where you can feel it. It's pretty tight. So, and then go down in there and get that out and it stays. Mank does a pretty good job, especially when you're trying to find tools. And it stays in place too. It don't fall over. So, uh, with that said, I'm fixing to tighten these things up. And guess what? I'm going to have to go look at the video, which I can do on this phone, down here, and see how many foot-pounds I got to do. I got my handy-dandy brand spanking new uh, torque wrench. Never used it. I was going to use it the other week. Guess what? I didn't have any. This is a half-inch. I didn't have half-inch to a uh, 3 8 uh, hitch me jigger, you know, and uh, so I didn't use it. I was going to try it on a, out of my tires. Supposed to be a hundred foot pounds. This is Pittsburgh from Harbor Freight. It's a nice little wrench. Nice little wrench. You torque the heck out of it. Uh, you know, you use it as a breaker bar, but I wouldn't suggest it. So, I am fixing to use this monkey and put this intake on and then take the, let me see if I can do this good. See that thing right over there? Uh, get it, put it on, take it off the intake and the, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, the throttle body. Take it off, clean it up real good. I'm gonna have to go get some more brake uh, cleaner to clean it up. But uh, it's all right. At least I got down this far. I got all that. Got the bolts in there. It looks good, don't it? It's clean. Let me get out of the seat. All right. I did bring my chair out of the out of the garage so I have somewhere to take my break. So that looks good, nice and clean. Got all the bolts in it that needs to be in it. And I thought about this uh, uh, thermostat right here. I might take that gold bolt out right there. That might loosen up enough to get that out. Go take that and I'll go get my uh, brake cleaner and see if I match that bolt up. I think that's the only problem I got. I think it's like that thing, housing thing, make me warped a little bit. And uh, I think that's what's binding it, that one screw right there. That's, what, that's the one that's messed up. So, uh, with that, I'll see y'all later. I'll give you an update on where I'm at. I still gotta put these uh, brackets on. That holds up the uh, all that fuel and uh, electrical and fuel lines and I got to put one over here uh, for the vacuum lines and stuff like that. I got to put that uh, heater hose in for the uh, that thing down there. Uh, I forgot what that thing is, but you know what it is. Uh, uh, and get it all together. Okay, see y'all later. Bye.